Let me ask you, does anybody know who this is? Do you recognize? Thank you, Josie. Do you all recognize us, Ms. Mann? I know you don't why. This is Mr. Rogers. I was going to dress Lawrence up like Mr. Rogers this morning, but um, I decided I'd bring this picture. Anyway, Mr. Rogers now lives in heaven because he, he died sometime back, but he used to have a show, didn't he, Josie? And there was this song that went along with it that was, oh, I just wish Natalie and Craig were up here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. And then it goes on and says, won't you please, Me, my won't you please, go ahead, Pastor Tom, please, won't you please be my neighbor. All right. And he always would do that. Now, first of all, I want to ask you all, do you think we're talking about neighbors like the people that live in front of you or behind you or beside you or in a group around you? Is that the kind of neighbors we're talking about? We're really not. We're talking about everyone when we say neighbors. And Mr. Rogers was a wonderful man, and when he died, there were many neighbors out there that probably were very sad, and we're also grateful that he lived here because he lived on this earth because he did a lot of wonderful things with his television show. Now, a man one day asked Jesus, what could he do to live forever in heaven? And Jesus answered with a story that I'm going to share with you that is about a neighbor. And I'm going to show you the pictures as we go along. There was at one time a man that was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. And on the way, he was attacked by robbers and hurt very, very badly. In fact, he was left to die. See the robbers hiding back there behind the rocks? And the next part of the story, after they had taken everything he had, all of his money, beaten him, and left him, he laid beside the road. And there he is, lying there in the rocks. Now, you know, people didn't have cars and planes and things to travel with, so the only way they traveled was by either on a camel or a donkey or whatever, and down the road. Well, luckily, along came a priest. Now, this priest is like Pastor Tom. He's like the pastor of a church. Thank you. Okay, but he's not really like him, but I'm saying his job is. Um, and he happened to be going down the road. So we think, well, what do you think that priest will do? Help that man? Actually, no. When he saw the man lying there, he did not. And I know Pastor Tom would help. So he crossed over to the other side of the road, and went right on and left that man. Well, do you think that was the right thing to do? No. Well, along came a temple assistant. Now, that would be somebody that helps out, I would assume, in the church. That might be uh, like maybe when I help out, or Mr. Craig helps out, or some of us help out. And we saw him lying there. It would be like us. But you know what this temple assistant did? Same thing. He passed right on by. I cannot imagine leaving that person there, can you, to die. Well, along comes a man who's a Samaritan. Now, a Samaritan is a man that comes from a country called Samaria, and they weren't thought of very highly of. This Samaritan, though, came along, and when he saw this man's condition, and here he is, he went right over to the side of the road to do what? Help. To help him. That's exactly right. And he kneeled beside him and look, he gave him <coughs> food, something to drink. He gave him, he bandaged his wounds. And he put him on his own donkey. And then he took him to an inn. Do you know what an inn is? It's like a hotel. He took him to an inn and there he took care of him. And the next morning, he took two silver coins and he gave them to the innkeeper. He managed the inn. And he said, take good care of him. And if there's any more money that's needed to take care of him, I will pay it to you when I come back. Now, what kind of behavior is that? Is that good behavior, what that man did? The good Samaritan? Which one was the good neighbor? Was it the priest? Was it the temple assistant? 
or was it the Samaritan? The Samaritan was the one that did good. And so what we learn from this is that if we want to be like Jesus and love everyone, and we, then we must love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And we must love God, of course, with all our heart, mind, and soul. Now, if we want to be and walk more like Jesus, then we will do as the Good Samaritan did in this story. And there's lots of people out there that we can help. Not just the ones we like, either, but sometimes some that maybe they scare us or we're not so sure we can like. Like when we have our homeless people here. Sometimes some of them don't make you really want to like them when you're around them. But you know that we love all and we show our love to everyone and that's what Jesus would have us to do. So we're going to love our neighbor as ourselves. Okay, let's bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you so very much for our four children here today. May they have a wonderful and safe week. And secondly, dear Lord, and not secondly, but first, may they learn to love all people, all of their neighbors and love them as they would hope that others would love them and love them as themselves and give them a wonderful uh, experience doing that. In your precious name we pray, amen. You are going